like, oh yeah, right. He, he really liked the burst options that Sonic had in Smash 4, so you know, that makes sense. But I guess not. All right, here we go. He's playing Ultimate Sonic? This guy's very brave. I mean, it works so far. He already got 48% off oh, that. Oh, yeah. Sonic's damage output is still ridiculous. Just mm -hmm. that up air always, you know, well, not always, but most of the time. Uh, not not, not always, but like, and whenever you need it to work, it doesn't work for some reason. So. I was laughing when you fall out of it. <laughs> it's like, wow, you actually could have killed me there, but they decide that your move doesn't deserve to work. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's for Nine's fault back in Japan, you know, because he's on the the, the balance or the he testing team or whatever. Probably hates Sonic as much as everyone else does. Yeah. To fight, you know, I like Sonic as a character. Yeah, he's cool. Fighting him is. He's got a movie coming out. Oh it's no. It's gonna be hype. You reminded me, Sonic. Don't worry, don't worry. They're changing exists. the design. Remember. All right, anyways. Here you we think, go. You think we'll get that version of Sonic in Smash? <laughs> for you. Oh boy. Okay. Let's not think about that. It's some it's in some universe that exists, though. Yikes. Yeah. So uh, I really like how Phoenix is playing around the, uh, Game Watch really well. He's mm -hmm. making it really hard for uh, Turk Master out to predict when he's going to approach. Ooh, that was almost good. Being able to cover both the low and the high setup there. Uses the up tilt. Of course, he hasn't met the ledge. Why wouldn't he just forward smash? What's gonna happen if he if he blocks it? Not much. Yeah, pretty safe. He's looking for it still. Oh, he tried to catch Can him at the ledge. You believe the down tilt didn't hit him, but who cares? Yep. Stuffed in the face, mm -hmm. forward smash, coming through. Now we got Phoenix with the stock lead, and he's Sonic, so that basically means he doesn't have to ever approach you. Oh, what is he? Okay, never mind. He can okay, okay. I was really worried for a second. <laughs> like, too. I was like, he, damn, you're about to commentate his curse someone twice, like. So it was like a new record within like 10 minutes of each other. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. So can Torch Buster uh, get this stock before taking too much percent? Looking really difficult right now because Phoenix is running away and picking his spots really carefully. Mm -hmm. That uh, bait and punish game, you know? Yeah, I feel like in Smash 4, a lot of Sonic mains and Game & Watch mains agreed that this was a pretty significantly bad matchup for Game & Watch specifically. If only because, like, Game & Watch can't really do anything to approach. So if the Sonic decides oh, to decide the flow of the match, then Sonic can really just steamroll Game & Watch until he can't do anything else. Yeah, it's kind of looking like that right now. Phoenix, with the three stocks to one lead right now, he's looking really smooth. Can Trickmaster do anything to get this stock off before taking too much percent? It's looking really hard for him right now. But here comes the up airs. This is the spring that kind of catches landing, or make his landing a little bit safer. Oh, yes, free down throughout the ledge. Where's he gonna go? Oh, man, you're crazy. You just did all for that. I mean, he's still got three socks to work with. He finally lost his first one now, but I think Game of Watch is still a light character, so we'll have to see how this goes down. I wouldn't be surprised if he, what? What? The heck? Do you think he gave up? What? What? What happened? Am I man just like, just SD or what happened, dude? I think he legit, he just gave up on that game. He's like, all right, I'm not winning this one. Let's try something else. Hey, man. You miss 100% of the shots you don't see. That is extremely true. Oh, well, Phoenix wins the first game. I mean, even without the SD at the end, he was playing, like, really dominant in the first place. Wait a minute, what? Now, this is an amazing Sonic stage. I'm a little surprised this is where Torque Master is going to take a Sonic, but right, let's well, see what he can I mean, do. I mean, it's smaller than Stadium, so maybe Phoenix banned the other small stages, so he decided to go for like another geographically small stage so that he can try and catch this Hedgehog. Yeah, Alrighty, there's, a, there's a glitch before where Sonic did his spin charge in that little lip of the stage. It got invincibility throughout the whole move, like when it was traveling. Wow, really? Yeah, it was really silly in this game, or, or this stage. There's like a lot of silly things that happened in this stage. Like Pikachu's quick attack canceling, uh, Donkey Kong's invincible up the... Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, this stage has a lot of uh, weird properties, but luckily most of them are not ultimate. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Torque Master is playing a little bit better this game, at least. Yeah. He's trying to play it slow, really wait to, you know, get in a vulnerable position and then strike him when he gets the opportunity. Kind of like that. Yeah, gets that up smash. Gets a little bit of damage tacked on. I think a big 
deciding factor is going to be who takes the first stock, though. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're fighting Sonic. It's, like, mm -hmm. so important. Yeah. It's like, you usually don't get to talk about it anymore because, you know, no one really plays Sonic anymore. But, you know, it's, it's still a thing. Like, Sonic still has a very great defensive game. And he still has a lot of damage output from uh, taking his opportunities. So, let's see. Yeah. Unsafe dash attack on shield. Mm -hmm. Very unsafe. I feel like you can get this stock really quickly though. Back throw on this stage, not enough. Oh man, try to go deep with the back throw of his own. He still has him at the ledge, but there's the neutral area. And here's all the fish in the sea. This is 19. I guess that's pretty good for two, two neutral areas. Yeah, not too bad. He's still got the defensive play that he can do with the LP out of shield especially because he's forcing Phoenix to approach because he has the lead now. Mm -hmm. So it's a completely different game. Now Game & Watch can shine with his defensive options and shut out the different options that Phoenix has to do when he tries to go in with something. Great up smash to catch the spin dash. That was like the one vulnerable frame of that move. Oh my god. The forward air extended his up or sports smash hitbox by a very wide margin. <laughs> yep. That's so unfortunate. Turk Master is playing, well, at least it was his first stock. Yeah. He's still playing very nicely, though. So we'll see how he can try and close out this stock. Nope. Yeah, Phoenix is not making it easy for him to get hit right now. Oh my goodness, I did so much percent. So all the hits of Spin Dash into the back there. Looks like this guy just never dropped Sonic. Like, when, I, when the game first came out, I only saw him playing the Ninja, but Sonic is uh, really well. But oh my wow. goodness. Wow, up air works. works. It works. How does that up air connect? We need to check the switch. This might be an update patch. <laughs> They fixed Sonic's up, up there for the first time. Yeah, we have to check, make sure the Switch has Hero in it, too. Oh, wait, like, never mind. Oh, okay, okay. It's messed <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Phoenix got lucky with that one. Now Phoenix doing what he does best with the lead, making it very difficult. All right, never mind. He just runs straight to the up smash. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You know, this commentator. What do I know? Yeah. Run sometimes. directly into the hitbox. Yeah, sometimes you just have to stand there and... Uh, just do it, man. Got a Nike. Is like a just do it character. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Definitely. So you, like you said, man, you can miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. I wanted to go for a nine. Yeah, that's a that's definitely a shot that you will miss a hundred percent if you don't take it. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if you'll risk a neutral exchange just to be able to do a judgment though. But if he does, it will be the greatest moment in Arcadian history. The only thing that moves much better in this game, the bucket, or not the bucket, the bacon. Oh yeah, Chef is really good in this game. It actually zones people out like it should. It's not like easy to get through it yeah. like in the past games. Yeah, actually this is a pretty down to the wire match all things considered. Try to set yeah. up something with the Chef, not quite. Quirkmaster has definitely uh, made the adjustments and the stage counter thing is not doing uh, that many favors, but there's the back air again. Weighing out the up B, doesn't get the spring hit he wants, but yeah. Phoenix is looking for the kill. You can tell by the way he's playing. I think, honestly, both of these two are really looking for the kill right now. Oh! Oh! oh. Wow, he just back aired everything except Game & Watch. Yeah, just the air around him, the electrons around Mr. Game & Watch. Oh, man, he's really looking for something. He was looking for something, too. But Phoenix, all of a sudden, he's got the control here. He's trying to find that two frame. Not quite. Gets off the ledge with the forward air, but still, he has to watch Phoenix. Because Phoenix is really looking for it. Oh, my goodness. Never mind. It doesn't even matter. We're going to game three. Raw up smash in neutral. What are you going to do about it? Don't say block it, because that's probably the only thing you could do. Yeah. How many socks was that taken from up smash? I think that was like two out of three of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, maybe Yoshi's Island, it's easier for him to land up smash. Who knows? But yeah, otherwise, good counter pick from Torque Master, being able to catch up to Sonic, being able to continue and actually apply damage for once. Let's see what they go for their last game here. Oh, is it Town and City? Oh, oh yeah, this no. is a you really never, you good never stage. never want to fight Sonic on this stage. Yeah. Especially when it's this layout, you can just jump on these platforms all day. I guess Turkmaster is going to try to do the same thing, but who's going to commit first? Oh, looks like he did, and he misspaced that neutral air, and he got 35%, and now the 
problems are just yeah. going to steamroll themselves <laughs> even more. Oh my god, he's yeah, doubled his percent in like a blink big, of an eye. Damn. Really big combo. Yep, uh, yeah, that's all this room oh for. Wow, god. he actually got the stock from that he too. He got juked. He knew where he was going immediately. And it's like, oh, you think you have a lot of room? Psych, I'm the fastest character in the game. That's something I don't appreciate enough with Sonic. How fast he is, like just moving on the on the ground, mm -hmm. not even using his special moves. Yeah. So I, I think it was definitely a trait that uh, players like Supergirl Kels, for example, in this uh, in Smash 4 at least, were able to portray well with Sonic. But his spinning attack is also, you know, like a good oh. example of his speed. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Not high enough percent for that to kill, but almost. Yes, uh, he's in, in the process. Mm -hmm. Oh, big back there. Is he going to run into the platform? Mixing up his recovery and he. Oh, okay, he can air dodge. Never mind. Yeah. Thought he was just suicide on accident. <laughs> if it was Smash 4, man. If it was Smash 4, definitely would have been a problem. Oh, oh. big punch. Probably could have got up smash there, but. So I, I think he wanted to cover both sides in case he did a directional air dodge. Because after, like, homing attack hits block. And he's been mixing up between directional air dodge in, directional air dodge out, air dodge in place. So down smash probably covered all those options. Yeah, he doesn't even matter what percent you're at. He's just going to keep swinging the forward smash all day. Yep. <laughs> a little surprised that uh, Toy Master got the second stock. But oh my goodness, never mind. There's another one. Yeah, man. Sonic Go Fist. I'm not sure what to call it. Go, big, big go, hands. Go Fist? I, yeah. call it the, I call it the Molly Wop, at least back when it was still like common for Sonic mains to be on stream. Not so much anymore, so. I guess Forward Smash works now. So he has to try to make something happen, but he's getting beat up by this Sonic right now. Oh my goodness, the whiff punish on the landing with the spin dash combo. That's something that Sonic can do really well. Just Dash in and out with you throw a move and then punch you super fast. Yeah, and because of the spin dash, uh, you know, also a really great cross up tool on shield, you know, you can just get away from the situation extremely easily. Wow, he converted that trade into a drag down fair forward tilt. That was very nice. Up throw? No, I'll just put it back though. Okay. Oh man, he's going super deep off stage. Was it worth He doesn't have any visibility anymore, so he goes high. Okay, gets another four tilt. Now at this oh, point, yeah, there we go. Out. Phoenix. Two. One. That's a darn shame, too, because I think Torchmaster actually could have 